Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Sunny, and I'm making this really quick video to show you guys um, how to set up a spiritual or ancestor altar. Um, I've recently been drawn to do this, and I just wanted to share you guys um, my experience, just in case some of you are going through the same thing yourself. Um, I'm going to make a more detailed video about this later but right now i'm just showing you the setup of my ancestor altar i'm doing this in the remembrance of my nana who's my spirit guide uh my great grandmother and my sister who passed away when she was seven years old um i acknowledge my nana a lot but i really don't acknowledge my sister you know which is a very very long story to be honest um, and if you are curious in that, I guess I'll make a video about that as well. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so I am going to show you guys what it is about. So obviously I have my table. It is wood. Um, if you are doing anything of magic, it's best to use things that are of a natural element. Uh, wood, meadow. I don't know why I said meadow. I guess I need to go to a meadow. Wood, um, metal copper clay stuff like that just try not to use plastic all right um but in each corner i have a representation of the four elements so here is a flower that my mother gave to me um when i first when i uh, got my first apartment and just recently it started growing lilies um i take this as a very beautiful sign um that i'm on the right path and that i shouldn't question my growth um, I had this flower for a very, very long time. I believe uh, either 2013 or 14, to be honest. And it never grew lilies before. So, yeah. Um, I did mate two plants in this, so that's kind of funny. One side is a representation of water. I really did not want to use legit water, so I'm using a um, shell that I got from a lake or beach, as some people like to call it. Um, other side is a representation of air i got this feather uh after a troubling incident and this feather does mean a lot to me and i'm also using this angel as well um also for earth you can use crystal um rocks if you want to if you don't have a plant and then the other one i'm using a candle so yeah all right but next i'm going to put the picture of my nana this is my Nana. And only picture that I have of my sister is uh, me and her when she was a baby. This is her and that's me. So I'm going to place that right there. Um, next thing, what you need to do. Well, before that, honestly, pray and ask for protection. And ask permission from your uh, ancestors. If you don't know who your ancestors are, um, I guess, you know, talk to your family uh, and ask them, you know, who your ancestors are and the nature of them if they were, you know, a negative person, if they were positive. Because you don't want to bring somebody into your home and into your world if, you know, they were negative or, you know, had some bad issues. I hate to say that. Um, but, you know, I'm just being honest. Um, let's see. What else can I say? I'm going to light this red candle really really soon i'm using red to represent my root chakra because my nana and my sister honestly and my other family members they gave me strength during times where i was very very weak um my sister and my nana actually um helped me nurture my mother when my sister died so yeah um I don't know, my grand my grandfather wants me to represent him too. But I don't have anything that can represent him. So I guess I'll add him into the pot later. Um this is something that is meant to be used daily. Um I suggest that you come to your altar and pray with your ancestors daily. You necessarily don't have to, but I, I don't know why I'm just getting the the uh the pool that 
I am supposed to do this daily. Um, I plan on doing offerings for my sister and my Nana, um, as in giving them money to live out or take away their spiritual debts or their debt that they had when they were living on earth. Um, you can also give them food. I offered my Nana bread because she used to give me and my sister toast, but she told me to eat it. So, yeah. Um, like, just, you know, think about all the things that your ancestors love. Like, if you know um, who your ancestors are, like, you know, how I'm doing my Nana and my sister. Like, I know what they like, you know. I, I They meant something to me. I've spent my days with them, so, you know, I, I know them. So, um, but if you don't know your family, I guess just... Pray to your divine God and angels and ask your ancestors to come through. Now, um, with you doing that, always, 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 always ask for protection, okay? Make sure you are not operating on low vibration because you can attract, you know, some other spirits that you don't want to. Um, with you doing these altars or with you praying to your spirit guides or just praying to your ancestors, you are going to um get some paranormal activity you may hear some knocking you may hear you know some beatings on the wall you you may see things knock over you may have some items go missing all right um i even uh watch other youtube videos where some people heard drums um to represent their native american or african ancestors so it honestly all depends um if you want me to make a more in-depth video about this i just wanted to do something very very short i guess comment below if you have any questions i'll greatly do that um i i had an ancestor also at my old apartment but you know it's time for me to do it here um but like i said this is something very short and sweet any questions please ask and i'll see you next video bye